Hi there and welcome to another Django and HTMX tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to extend what we had in the last tutorial and we're going to allow users to delete these movies from their movie list. And we're going to do that by adding a little button at the right hand side of each movie that is basically going to delete the film from the user's list when the user clicks the button. And we're going to do this with HTMX using AJAX requests, so no refreshing, it's all going to be done dynamically. This is going to mimic the kind of single page application functionality of React and Vue.js but without all that complexity and that's the beauty of HTMX. It simplifies your architecture but it allows you to do some very nice things as well. So let's go to the code and we're going to first of all edit this film list template. Remember this is a fragment that's loaded by the films.html component and that renders the list down here. So what we're going to do is for each film, we're going to add a button at the right hand side. So let's modify this content here. So what we're going to do is for each film, this is the individual film name that's displayed. We're going to now add some styling using bootstrap to this and we're going to make it a flex box and we're going to justify content between. And we're going to align items center. This is getting quite long, so I'm going to bring that down to a new line and we'll format this a little bit. So basically this, this turns it into a flex box where um, the content is aligned between, which means that one will go to, uh, the text will go to one side and the button we're about to create will go to the other side. We've got the film's name, we now need to add the button and I'm going to do this with a simple span object that's going to use some bootstrap styling. And inside the span we're going to add just a cross and we're going to make this cross red so that it looks a bit better. So if we refresh the page at the moment you see that we get a cross here. It doesn't look very nice, let's see if we can improve the styles using bootstrap. So one simple thing we can do is we can give it a class and these are bootstrap classes, um, badge and badge danger and that should turn it into a red cross, slightly better and we can also give it the badge pill class which will turn it, it will give it some border radius so it turns it into a slightly rounded looking button. And the final thing I want to do in terms of styling, um, if you look at right now if we hover over this cross we, we don't get any sort of indication that we can click it. We want to be able to click this so I'm going to add a custom style here on a new line and we'll say style equals and this is CSS inline styling. Um, we're going to say cursor pointer and that should then give you, when we refresh, it should give you a pointer here as you hover over the button. So now we're going to add to this span the HTMX attributes. When we click this we want to send a delete request to the back end to delete the film. So let's see what we need to add in terms of HTMX here. So first of all we're going to add an HX delete attribute and this is going to send a delete request to the URL that we put in here. And I'm going to use Django's URL template tag, that's the best practice. And we're going to create a URL in a minute that we're going to link to this but for now let's just call it delete film. This doesn't exist at the moment, it's going to be created in a minute. And we're going to have to send the film's ID along to that route. It's going to be a, a Django path parameter. So what I'm going to do is film.pk in there. And we can get the primary key, the ID of the film, because we're iterating over these model objects. So each film has a primary key or an ID that we can then pass to the URL template tag. So that gives us the delete request. And what we now need to do um, is set up the target. So again, the target is going to be the, the film list ID. This is the same as in the last tutorial. And this refers to the films.html's, this div here. Remember the HTMX is returning a template fragment that we want to swap in. So when we specify the target, it means that when our endpoint, the delete endpoint that we're going to create in a minute, returns HTML, this is where it will be placed in the HX target. One last thing we want to do, and this is new, this is a new HTMX attribute, it's called HX Confirm, and it allows you to display a small alert to confirm your, um, your intentions. So we could say, are you sure you wish to delete? And that then, when you click this, is going to show up, and in fact, I think if we refresh this, actually we get an error because at the moment we don't have this URL. So I'm going to create the URL just now. Um, in the urls.py file. Let's go there. Again, this is an HTMX URL pattern, so I'll add it to that. And it's the delete film route 
slash and then of course as we attach the primary key of the film we'll take that in here and we're going to create now a new view called the delete film and we're giving this URL the name of delete film which corresponds to what we've got here. So in views.py let's finally create this URL, uh, this view sorry, it's called delete film and it's taking the request as an argument. Now what we want to do is remove the film from the users list. So the users got all these films in the list and we want to get rid of whatever primary key has been sent in the, in the URL. Now we can accept the primary key from the URL as an argument in the Django view here and we'll just say PK which has to match what we've got here. So we can now get the primary key from the URL and what we're going to do is we're going to take the request and we're going to get the user so that will return the logged in user. They have a bunch of films, films.all but what we want to do is actually remove the film with the given primary key. So this single line of code will remove that film from the user's list that has the primary key that we passed in. Finally, what we want to do is now return the template fragment again. So we're going to refetch all the user's films. So it's going to be request.user.films.all. That'll get all of the films after we've already deleted this one, which is an important step. And then we can finally return the rendered template. And I'm just going to copy this line here. It's the same line. We render that same partial with the new uh, films populated after we've removed the user's film. So that should do the trick. There, um, there is going to be one problem here, which we're going to see in a minute. If I click this, we get this, are you sure you wish to, to delete? This is coming from the HX confirm. That's what that does. It allows you to verify a user's intentions when they when they do an action. But if I click OK here, we're not going to see anything happen. And if, if I look at the server here, you see that the CSRF token is missing. And the problem here is that um, HTMX is not attaching the CSRF token. It does it for a post request, but for a delete request, it does not do it. And Django actually needs to have that CSRF token for a delete request. Now what we could do is make this view exempt from the CSRF token, but that's not a good security practice here. What we instead want to do is we want to attach it dynamically with some JavaScript. I'm going to reference um, this particular event. Now HTMX has some built-in events that they extend the given events that you get in the DOM. And one of them here is the config request. You can see it here. This event's triggered after HTMX has collected parameters for the request. And importantly, it can be used to include or update the parameters that HTMX will send. So we're going to use this here and we're going to update the parameters that HTMX is going to send. So I'm going to copy paste some code to the HTML, the base.html file. This is the one that all files extend from, other, all other templates extend from this. And at the bottom of the body, I'm going to add some code here. It's a script tag and it contains code that's very similar to what's here, document.body.addEventListener. We're listening for the config request event, as you can see here. And when we receive that event, what we're doing is to the HTMX request, we are adding this header here, x-csrf token. And we are making that equal to the CSRF token. So the reason this works is that if you look at Django's documentation here for cross-site request forgery, at this section here, the Ajax section, you can see that the, there is an alternative method. You can pass this token. That's the token that we are setting in the script here. You can actually pass that and then set that to the value of the token. And that's what we're going to do now. And hopefully that's going to resolve this issue. So if I save base.html and go back to the movie app and refresh, get rid of this. If we remove the big Lebowski, you see that it actually is dynamically deleted here. So that's very cool. We are deleting and you see the delete request on the on the server here is coming in. Uh, if you want to see that from the network tab, you can see if we get rid of good fellas, I sure you wish to delete, yes. And we get here that the delete request has been sent. So this is all dynamic and interactive. Um, if we add another film here, let's say Eraserhead, quite a crazy film. If we add that there, you get the post request sent, but then you can think, well, actually, I don't really like that film so much, so I'm going to delete it. 
and you get the confirmation making sure you're not making a mistake and then once you've confirmed it's dynamically deleted. So that wraps up this tutorial. We're now able to add and delete as well as list out the movies in our list. In the next video we're going to look at how to do a simple search component that uses HTMX to search. We're going to do many more videos on HTMX in the future. It's a very cool technology that's really useful for Django developers or any back-end developers. The cool thing about HTMX is it works with any back-end language or framework so if you want to use it with you know PHP or Laravel or Node.js or anything you can do so. For now we're going to wrap this video up and if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.